Uh, gamers, hello. Would you believe that I'm quite tired after making, like, three massive videos in a week? Has it been a week? Has it even been a week? God. Not even. Five days. Well, I mean... Making the Persian Persuader video took at least a couple of days, so... Yeah, I guess it's been about a week. Yeah, get some rest, tall child. You can't keep burning the candle at both ends. this time well the only script I have recorded is uh, the what even is a subclass video and I had I had footage for that recorded a while ago that uh, that's long gone But I can at least hop inside a casual or Uncle Tope or whatever and uh, try and get some 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 subclass and quote unquote subclass footage. Uh, also, let's. Yeah, you'll notice I have a new uh little stream doodad here. We got a, we got a little tip goal here. Because March was really, really bad. So I'm hoping, actually, I might have to put this somewhere else just to make sure it fits into the stream the best. Because, like, what's this going to be blocking off here? Is that, like, my ammo or... That's my ammo count, right? I've I've been playing this game for 5,000 hours. Where the fuck does my ammo go? So, uh... I may have to stick that somewhere a bit more convenient. But yeah, March was really, really bad, so... I'm gonna try and, uh... Get myself a bit of, a bit of dosh, a bit of cash. In the meantime, though, let's let's see what's available to us, because I'm not spending any money right now. Uh... Right, I unboxed this fucking Strange Factory new... <laughs> I unboxed a Strange Factor new fucking Cosmic Calamity last time, didn't I? I forgot about that. I haven't even sold that yet. I probably should. Uh, I don't even have... How much... How much keys do I even have? Seven, it says? Is that correct? Yes. It's enough. I can get another winner 2017. Where's my phone? There's my phone. I need that. I need that to accept Steam trades. Oh, what do you mean my inventory is unavailable? You're, you're full of it. My inventory is not unavailable. Your inventory is unavailable. Okay, clearly this is not working. That's... I guess we're not gambling today. I'm very sorry. Love the Avatar video so much I'm going to give you money when I get it. 
Also, thank you, Joshua Minton, for the first tip in the tip jar. Two dollar dues. Greatly appreciated. Every little bit counts. Da, da, da. I want to see if this actually works. So, like, once the uh, once the alert notification comes up, hopefully. Also, something I have noticed. Desktop audio is. Is there no fucking audio setting for just like the the alerts? Because I've noticed that. It's only desktop audio for some reason, which uh kind of messes with my whole vibe here. All right. Does it automatically go in? Come on, Streamlabs, help a brother out. I don't think it does. I don't think it counts super chats. <laughs> Here, let me go into Streamlabs and automatically, like, it manually put it in. Why can I not edit it? Well, it's just being silly right now. Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. Everything works great. Fuck it. Let's play the goddamn video game. I'm... T enough horsing around. Enough... Enough jiggery-pokery. No gambling. Nothing works. It's fine. Yeah, let's get some fucking gameplay. Like, goddamn. Let's get some gameplay and not some bots. God, I hope we don't get bots. Okay, um. Footage for some of the subclasses I mentioned is gonna be easy. At least comparatively speaking. Because it's just like. Dragon's Fury, Pyro, Huntsman, Shortstop. Like, some things that, that I might just play anyway if I felt like it. But then there's some where it's just, like, Fat Scout or Gun Spy. Things like that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's go, Dragon's Fury. Apparently, Dragon's Fury and Flare Gun. Ow. Oh. Greetings, fish. I finally figured out how to make signs with color on them. Time for me to make a prawn sign to be a proper menace. Now we're talking. Thank you for the five dollar dudes, I greatly appreciate it. Rest in peace, my friend. An admirable bear attempt. Loading in servers takes like a while for me the first time. Oh, hi there. What is that sniper? I don't know what that sniper is doing aiming down there to begin with. Like, what, what are you hoping to hit? Okay, see, that makes a little more sense. Oh, my lord. 
Okay, that surf was kind of cool, though. Ah, damn it. Ooh! Didn't... Didn't quite make it. Oh! Best second for the Dragon Tear? Probably Detonator or Scorch Shot. I mean... Detonator gives you more mobility. Scorch Shot's way fucking easier. Take your pick. I don't consider the flare gun to be all that great, but I had it equipped from when I was playing MVM, so... I'm kind of just sticking with it. How goes it? It goes. Ah, good. Headshot. Well done, thank you very much. I'm surprised I'm living this long. Help them go well for you? So do I, so do I. Okay, are you good? I'm like... I'm paranoid about like a spy cap, because that always happens on Borneo. Especially when we don't have an engineer. That would have hit. Oh god, or the fucking <laughs> or the KGB heavy cap. That also works. It's kind of what happens when you don't have literally a single engineer on Borneo last. Uh Let's try Battle NG. You know, we're going to go Battle NG. With, you know, just full on stock. Full on stock battle energy, because that's kind of like the point that I want to make in the video. Is that battle energy is all mindset. I thought that was Hostel Gato. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be going like offensive engine with a couple of different loadouts just to kind of like... Because the point I make in the video is basically like... Uh, like most people consider Battle Engineer the subclass to be just like, Oh hey, you use the Gunslinger and be more aggressive. But I'm making the point that Battle NG, it's, it's, it's a mindset thing, which Uncle Dan agrees with, and he plays Engineer. That's... That's the best. That's, that's the baseline, right? Is you have to play Engineer. I'm so dead. Yep. I was gonna say, it's a good thing that our Heavy is here, because he will help, uh, create a nice line here. I'm moving this. Why not use Gunslinger, though? Because I'm making a point in the video. Like, if you're just installing the game right the fuck now, you don't have a Gunslinger, but you want to play, like, Engineer on offense, what do you do? You play Battle Engie. Like, technically Battle Engie, it's just slower Battle Engie. Hey Fish, love the new Vegas video, been watching content for years, I'm happy you're still going. Stay great. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the five dollar dues. Uh, 
Oh, uh, we're kind of just like trashing. That's what it seems like anyway. Except for okay, well that guy. That guy didn't. Uh, he didn't fly so good. Who wants to try next? Yeah, we're kind of just rolling on through. Oh shit. Thank you for help, metal. Fuck. <laughs> well, I got him. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay. Well, that doesn't help at all. Fuck it, man melter. Let's use our alien blaster. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, get over here. Oh, I missed. I'm I'm cringe. I'm bad. Collecting footage more or less. Oh my lord. Why did you taunt in the middle of that? Just start TF2 mapping and play on the rebound servers? Um, I, ha I don't know the first fucking thing about mapping. It is a miracle that I can make war paints, you have to understand this. Oh my god. Yeah, see, now I'm on the other end of a steamroll, and that that's just not very fun at all. Oh god, was it that thing we had to worry about? Uh, but pardon me for being under the impression it was like there's seven soldiers. Okay. Oh. That's depressing. Doesn't mapping have to be on a hammer editor? Yeah, um... No. L listen, hammer editor? No. All like all everyone says about hammer is that it is just the worst thing ever. After watching a bunch of soldier fish bites, I'm unironically hoping there's a monster girl smasher pass stream eventually. Oh older fish bites. I, I I read that as soldier fish bites. My apologies. It, it it may happen one of these days. How is this a roll? I don't understand. I mean, I guess their score is a lot more even than than ours, where we have, like, two good guys, and then everyone else is just like, what the fuck ever? Also, like, come on. There's no way their spy isn't gonna fucking... isn't gonna try and do the spy cap thing. There's no way. There it is. I told you. The 
The spy always tries to spy cap. Ah, that's good. I ever do another permadeath run, it's another science character. Make them the lost child of Poindexter. Poindexter died a virgin, and we all have to live with that. Okay, sure, what the fuck ever. Man. Can I go back to the other team? Thank you. Okay, cool. That's that's over now. Thank you for the extra 500 experience points. I needed those. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on with the fucking donations thing and why it's not counting super chats. It really should. I don't know what the deal is. Because we've gotten quite a few. Settings, standard, no. Hmm. Some of his skin cells got irradiated and grew into a new person. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like if someone dies, then they die. Like, if, if you just go back and do the same thing all over again, then that kind of... That, that takes away from the sadness of it, don't you think? We all miss Poindexter, but I, I honestly kind of prefer just that, like... Also, I, I kind of prefer that feeling of, like, impassioned sadness rather than just... Oh, there he is again. He's back. Don't worry about it. Also, I apologize. I'm playing Conchbox Soldier. Oh, that's a bot. How much stream did you miss? Um, not very much. We have we've had like one game so far. No, and I can't add uh, manually either for some reason. Like it's not letting me. I think it might only count Streamlabs donations, which sucks a lot. Uh, I haven't seen either, well, any of the Dune movies. And that counts the weird one. Yeah, it's not letting me edit anything. Okay, Borneo again. Why the hell not? Favorite juice? I've been having this, like, strawberry kiwi juice recently that I think is pretty good. Uh, your name is in green because you're a member now. You probably got gifted a membership. I'm gonna guess in the last stream because there were, like, ten gifted memberships last stream. But that was a Wednesday stream, so no one was watching it. Uh, Conchbox gets a quick mention. Because basically, like... It's, it's pretty much just the idea that, you know, if some things which people might not consider subclasses are considered subclasses because of whatever weird arbitrary rules define what is or isn't one, then some things might end up being some class that people would be a lot more resistant to, like Conchbox.
I don't think you can get gifted subs by people from other channels. The Okay. Damn. Most inconveniently placed mini sentry. Like, whether or not you like conch box, I think, is irrelevant to the point. It's just like, is it a subclass? Like, I personally wouldn't say so. But, like... If you argue that certain things are some class are, are subclass, then you could argue that Conchbox might be. That spy is still around here somewhere. Hello, Milk Scout. Okay, we're going in. Oh, he flies. Oh, he's cracked. Oh my god, I can't believe he lived that. That man. That man is a legend. Hey, Pyre, you want to go fast? Whoa. Yeah, that, that was an awesome fucking surf from the heavy. Oh, Jesus. I do have to remember that just because I'm playing conch box, it doesn't make me actually invincible. The resistance to not do they fly now and Avatar is commendable. <laughs> oh, jeez, I got one shot left. Oh. Well, thank you for the dispenser guts. Um, I think we win, by the way. I should be deader than dead. Oh, I'm leaving. Oh. Yeah, shame. One of those can't even push past first Borneo games. Hey. There it is. Good. Good. Stick with that one. Okay, so for some reason it only counts Streamlabs donations. That is very annoying. Because I am... I, I am totally fine with it being just, like, uh, fucking super chats in this particular instance. You're right, you know what? If I ever die, it's not my fault. It's because this, this stupid fucking medic is just not pocketing me enough. Jesus Christ, those are some fancy hats. Yeah, it's only through Streamlabs. I don't know why. I mean, I, I... I feel like I usually advocate that one more. Just in general. Because, like, hey, I get the money right away. But I still appreciate the $5 regardless. Like, that's half a percent there. And that is not nothing. Oh, wait, that spy's a YouTuber? Is he? Uh, General Alias... That sounds familiar? The Time Master mindset. <laughs> I'll just bind all of my keys to call for medic. And bind all my other keys to say random slurs in chat.
Oh, jeez. That's unfortunate. That was so unfortunate. By the way, that's my opinion on critical hits, is I don't fucking like them. You can make your crap war paint like 30 ref more expensive with a festivizer. Not really, honestly. Uh, adding a festivizer to a weapon really doesn't do much in terms of its value. Good headshot, by the way. There we go. So do I. Oh my god, what a psycho! Holy shit, no wonder this guy's a YouTuber. He's actually good at the game, unlike me. Well, engineer down. Yeah, I greatly appreciate the $10. Like, being a full 1% of my donation goal, $10, is like... I'm kind of surprised at that. I don't know why. But it's just like, damn, if 100 people gave me $10, I'd be like... I'd, I wouldn't have to stress about, about money. Where are you going, son? Where are you going, son? Yeah, that's why I stopped, Biznatch. Yeah, this is... Oh, give me... Not again! No! Okay, well, there's 10% now. Wow. Okay, now less people have to donate ten dollars. Aww, I got the other guy though. Yeah, the server just fucking tanked. I don't know what the hell happened. You will stand next to that or I will stand you next to that yeah, I don't know. I, I might. Uh... <laughs> I might just want to leave this server. Yeah, wow, thank you so much for the fucking hundred dollars. I really appreciate that. Well done. Well done. I I'm just the cheerleader for this team. Ah, straight into that one. Damn it. What if I critical hit your little Zuko? Will I cry then? Hmm, troll face. Yes, I would cry. That is my little boy. I, I love him more than life itself. He's not just a silly little channel mascot. He's like, he's my boy. He's my little pet. He's my lizard. I love that little guy. Yeah, this guy's actually good at reflecting. You will stand next to that cart, or I will stand you next to that cart. Have we got $150 already? Uh, someone donated, well, 110 Damn it, this guy's good. Oh, I'm sorry. My my weapons heal me. You know what? That was a time master moment. Stand next to the cart, damn you. Oh, we're gonna do it. 
Ah, that time I did it. I caught you off guard. So I'm Ozai? I guess so? I'll try to be a better dad than Ozai, but I mean, like, I didn't intentionally scar him. Well, I mean, I didn't scar him at all. He just happened to be scarred when I found him. Hello? Wee. Okay, see now now people are joining. <laughs> see, always I should have used that excuse for Zuko. He's just like, hey, he was like that when I found him. I don't know what you think I'm out here making my own kid ugly? Okay. Was that? DJ Music Man. Oh, I think that's a bot. Yeah, that's a bot. Uh, no, not that, not that one. I saw DJ and I was like, that one. Oh. Well, I tried. That one's also a bottom, pretty sure. Just watch the power of the good stuff. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh man, that guy's on fire, but I also kind of really want this health pack. Aw, uh, no dispenser for you. Uh, also, ow. Also, ow. Could we crowdfund subscriber bots for your YouTube channel so you get to 200k? We get another 12 hour maid dress stream? No. Don't bot my channel. I don't want that. No, like, what, what, what would the point of that be? Like, would my channel even get more, like, exposure? Ten dollars. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Completely agreed. I, I genuinely... I, I generally don't play this loadout very often, but, like... I mentioned it in the video, so... Ah. You! You're now my enemy for life. The audio? I don't know! For some reason, like... Ever since I changed how my fucking stream audio works, like the... Hi there. The Streamlabs donations don't play the text-to-speech anymore. I'm gonna have to fix that somehow. Freezing must be one of the more chill ways to die. I'm pretty sure you're just making a pun there, but freezing to death actually kind of sucks. Wow, good headshot. Like, freezing to death is very slow and agonizing. Basically, ice crystals are forming inside of your body. And it's incredibly painful.
Oof. Yeah, it, it hurts until your nerves are killed, and then it won't hurt anymore. No, 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 please, please! Oh. I think I kicked the last one. I don't know if I can kick this one. Have I laddered on Pokemon Showdown? God, fucking... I think the last time I played competitive Pokemon was in, like, Gen 4. Hmm. Ah. Oh, he, he crits the other guy. Uh, F1, yes. Like, listen, not to say I've done any any particular research at all into what are the best and most efficient and painless ways to die, because I, I definitely haven't. I, I would do I would research no such topic ever for any reason. But from what I understand, if you want like the just sort of if you want the kind of death where if your parents walked in and found your body then they wouldn't have, like, as much of a mess to clean up. Go for carbon monoxide. Wait, no, not carbon monoxide. It's, uh, wait, is it carbon monoxide? It's, like, it's fucking CO2. Like, CO2 poisoning. Actually, helium is also good for that, because, like... So, yeah, you don't, actually, you don't want carbon dioxide. You don't want carbon dioxide because that, that'll panic you. You don't want the panic. Helium is good. That was also good. Helium is very good because, like, what causes all the, the, the whole panic thing in your body is not... Oh no, my body does not have enough oxygen in it. It is... There is way too much carbon dioxide building up in my lungs right now. I am freaking the fuck out. This needs to get out of here because this is poison. This is poison in my body. So as long as you're able to breathe out the carbon dioxide, then like, no big fucking deal. But you won't get enough oxygen into your brain and then your brain just dies and that's what the helium is good for. Again, I've done no I've done no research into this whatsoever. Don't take notes. This is just what I've learned as a very very sad man. I've actually heard that the running out of helium thing is, like, not quite as true as one might believe by watching Smiling Friends once. Oi. Shemp. Who else remains? Why would you pat? Why would you be passive with the conch box? Like, you can go in there. That shit's fun. Oh! 
Oh, the multi kill. That's at least like a half chub right there. Oh, no escape. What is donation for? The donations are for March being a very, very, very bad month for me. I didn't make very much money. That, that part was mostly on me because I didn't upload for like two weeks straight there. But like it was also not on me because the reason I did that is because my life was falling apart. Brooklyn for a job. I understand that. Like, I, again, it's just there to let people know, hey, if you have the ability, I'd appreciate it. But like, if you don't, then don't don't con don't concern yourself too much. There's my claimer. I do also end up talking about Hybrid Knight in the video because there's some people who think that like full Demo Knight is the only subclass in the game. Liberty Launcher Buff Banner, please love the content. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Oh, jeez. But yeah, there's some people who think that, like, full Demo Knight is the only subclass. And I, I kind of have to wonder, like, what does it deal with, like, Hybrid Knight in that case? Also, ow. Like, is Hybrid Knight a sub-subclass? Avatar videos were great. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm glad to hear that the effort on them wasn't completely wasted. Thank you. Thank you, Minecraft Pro 123. I feel like it's been a while. Also, ow. Also, ow. Alright, well. I've got at least a bit of time to make this next video, but I want to get it done before the... I want to say 9th. Because I'm pretty sure that's when my plane leaves. And then I'll be gone in Michigan for a few days and not being able to work on videos. Could you call I've Reloaded a subclass if you really want to parse it? That's kind of the conclusion I end up coming to in the video. Is like, if you really want to stretch it just based on the definitions of... Things like, I don't know, like Fat Scout, then yeah, anything could be a subclass. Like, if things like Fat Scout and Pie Bro, I fucking knew it, you stupid. F okay, it's a, it's a stock spy. It's fine. But if you count those things as subclasses, then basically anything could be a subclass. Um, this is a complete steamroll. Go fuck yourself. Alright, I think I can turn the heater off in my room. It's starting to get a little toasty. It's very rainy today. Yeah, if Pybro is a subclass, then what is it? Because Pybro is 110% a mindset thing. Oh, right, I got a trade offer. I'm sorry, there's a lot going on right now. Uh... Okay, so it's a trade and not... Not like a gift. Okay, I will have to think about that one. Yeah, you don't even have to switch your loadouts to uh, switch between being a pie bro or not. Like, it is just a mindset change. 
Would Bile Demo also be a subclass too? It could be if you wanted it to be. Anything could be a subclass if you want it to be. I think the server is basically dead. <laughs> yeah, no one is joining this. Clay or Persian, what's my favorite? Probably Persian. I have to go with that one. At least when I'm playing full demo night, certainly. Like, Clay is my go-to for when I'm playing hybrid night, and for when I'm playing full demo night, I like Persian. The highs of um, Persian, I think, are better than the Clade. Okay, can we please? That is your 160th dollar donated this stream. What the fuck? You are responsible for all but $15 of my goal. At least as far as Streamlabs goes. Also, ow. He just stands there. He stands there at like 20 health and just takes it. I am using the Liberty Launcher. I am using the Liberty Launcher and I am a threat to you at that range. Oh, I really needed that dispenser, but I understand. Okay. Oh, who's the fucking... Who's Big Dick Johnson now? That's what I thought, Mr. Direct Hit Soldier. Oh, I'm so... I'm, so, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not Big Dick Johnson anymore. My dick is not that big. Hence the name. Thank you for the set of as a crystal. Oh, wait. Good old Schwicky Schwag, it's it's doing stuff for me. Oh come on. <laughs> uh, it's like getting fucking no scope to death. How do YouTube donations get counted alongside the Streamlabs donations? Apparently they just don't. I'll have to like manually check those or something. Yeah, riveting sniper gameplay. Hi there. Oh, oh no. Where is our doctor? Is that the health pack? It should be. Oh, please! Oh, no! It's over for me. Or is it? It might be! If our fucking demo keeps shooting at the pyro. Okay. No one's down here. That's good. Hi there. Are we all good?
Yeah, I don't know where the indication was given that, like, I appreciate all the, the weird, horny comments, because I, I kind of just don't. Oh, jeez, I only got two shots left. Make them count! Whee! No, weirdly enough, I don't like being sexually harassed by my own stream chat. Oh, thank you. That's annoying. Oh, Jesus. That's fine. That's fine. We just stay right the fuck here. Where are you going? I'd never make it as a VTuber. V Look, plenty of VTubers have, like, dumb standards and limitations, alright? They, they have boundaries. And from what I have seen, VTuber fans in general are, like, very respectful of that sort of thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, boundaries. I, I never heard of her. Well, that's our first godlike in a while. Maybe I need to make, like, three giant videos in a week more often. Well, thank you for, uh, the suggestion for Liberty Launcher Buff Banner. Clearly, it is exactly what I needed. To become God. I feel like VTuber fans are just respectful of the VTuber's wishes because they're just like, Hey, I like this person. And I want to keep in enjoying their stuff. Because they know that, like, the fact that the VTuber streams for them is not, like, a guarantee. It's not, like, it's not a right. It's a privilege. And it's a privilege that the VTuber reserves the right to take away at any given opportunity. Because they could just, like, they could graduate, they could leave. They don't have to deal with that shit. Oh my lord. <laughs> Somehow I only tied for top scoring. Ah. Uh, I watch VTubers anyways. Did I die at all? I don't know if I did. Also, we have a trade offer. Unusual square dance. My goodness. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Retrospective of Love and War? God, that was ages ago. Yeah, I watch fictional women playing video games. What of it? Also, that's a trade on hold for 15 days. Also, I just realized... I don't even think I can use this fucking footage for a, uh, for the fucking video because of the, 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 the money bar. That's just going to be there the whole fucking time.
Because that's distracting as fuck. Also, there's five snipers. I wonder why. Yep. There they go. Really like the new rant videos on Netflix's avatar. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Just blur it out? No. Listen. Like... I, I could isolate footage if I was, like, recording with fucking... What's it? Oh, my God. My brain is blanking right now. Like, Shadow Play? If I was doing that? Then I could absolutely. But, um... Doing both... The fucking... Like, re recording the stream footage and recording with Shadow Play at the same time... Like, first of all, I just like doing the stream footage better because it takes up less hard drive space than Shadowplay does. Also, I'm gonna die. Thank you. I'll thank you for the gifted membership. I greatly appreciate it. Med, you have... You have poo brain. Can this please respawn? Leave it in. Ah. I don't know, I feel like the fucking like the the the, the stream alerts. Those are one thing, the subscriber notifications and the and the donation notifications. That's one thing. Is just having the whole bar there in the entire video is just like I don't know, I don't know about that. It's not it's not that big of a deal. I've been thinking that I need to like just play TF2 more often in general because I need to like get back in the groove. Because, like, the way it was when I was doing the sniper video, like, the 30 days of sniper challenge thing. I just felt better about it when I was playing TF2 more often. <laughs> Fucking 18 damage rockets. Uh Hi there. Oh, wait. This guy really doesn't know how to play the game. I'm gonna guess that this is like someone's little brother or something. Who's just playing on his older brother's account. That would 100% be my guess for what's going on there. I'm... Sorry. Honestly, making the um making the avatar videos was kind of a gamble just in general. I was gambling on the uh the algorithm to help those videos take off and they it, it kind of did. Come on. Oh, hi there. Ah. Well, I got the teleporter. Like, I know... I know that, like, my actual effort that I put into the video helped it get some traction, but I'm saying, like, the I feel like the algorithm at least recognizes that. It's like, oh, wait, this video is actually kind of good, so let's, let's push it out to more people. Like, it is not just, you know, the, the 10,000 so subscribers of, you know, that channel that wouldn't watch that video. Like, it got pushed out to a lot more people. And, uh, hi there. Oh, you are such a... 
You're a little weasel, aren't you? A little weasel boy. Oh. <laughs> Avatar videos on the uh, main fish stick on a stick channel. Another trade offer. Oh boy. The main channel should be linked in the description. Whoa, Jesus. Ahoy. Oh my god. It's so fun to see that, like, I'm actually getting people into New Vegas. That is so cool. I, I'm, like, really jazzed to hear that. I'm actually really happy about that. Thank you. I know that, like, realistically speaking, this is my main channel at this point, but... I don't know. I The, the old one is the first one, and it doesn't have a subtitle on it, so... I don't know, I'm biased. Yeah, wow, another 50 bucks, holy shit. I didn't expect to get, like, all that much this stream. Alright. What happens if I don't reach the goal? Then... That sucks? I'll just have to scrounge for money some other way or how? Uh, there it is. So their avatar reviews and assumed it was from the main channel because it didn't have a special second channel naming convention. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the, the, the way I do the channels is like weird and my friends are all just like one of my friends in particular is just like dude you should just like have the fucking gaming channel be fish stick on a stick at this point like what fucking difference does it make? Oh right because I got I actually got used to my fucking my turning vines. Also this is the actual game right now. Like, I didn't know. I thought we were all just kind of being dicks in the pre-round. Aw. Lots of trade offers. How come Christianity slash Christian themes and imagery are pretty good for horror games? Um... I'm not really too sure, honestly. But it's definitely a common theme. Like, even in stuff that stri isn't strictly horror. Getting in with the Make Back Weapon Academy on Electric Smoke from Titanfall 2 because I hear that is annoying. Um, I, I don't get annoyed by it so much. It's just like... I feel like Bad Weapon Academies are things that I kind of have to make on my own terms. So we got Hail's Own Fists. They're really Hail's Own. Oh, hi. Yeah, even something that isn't strictly horror, but is at least unsettling, like fucking Evangelion. A lot of religious themes there. And, uh... It, it, it's somewhat unsettling. I'm not sure what the association is there. Maybe it's just, like, the juxtaposition of, like, what is meant to be, like, good and righteous against, like, 
Um, just spooky shit. So I think you could argue it's like meant to be a sort of subversion, right? Like sort of what if the evil comes from like within the good natured side of humanity? Maybe that's it. Because I feel like it would be kind of easy to just be like, oh, hey, all the all the stuff that isn't, you know, my religion or whatever. Like, that's the spooky stuff. Like, that's a bit less interesting. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Hi there. You have no personality whatsoever. I think there's definitely, like, a sort of... I don't know what to call it, but, like, people will be, like... They'll take that, what is normally a subversion, and just, like, kind of run it into the ground, almost. You know what I mean? Or it's just like, oh, man! What if the, the, the angels are the evil ones and the devils are the fucking cool awesome ones? You know what I mean? Like that kind of shit? Fucking has been hotel garbage? I'm doing terribly right now. Uh, also, we have like four demos for some reason. I have no idea why. Same mechanism as mascot horror? Eh. I don't know about that, because mascot horror pretty much, like, at, at least in terms of just how fucking huge it is now, that originated from Five Nights at Freddy's, and that got popular because the animatronics at Chuck E. Cheese were already just weird and creepy, and nobody liked them. Like, it's basically just a parody of an already existing Uncanny Valley. Also, I think it's a bit, it's a bit odd to equate uh, Chuck E. Cheese animatronics with God. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Chucky Christ. <laughs> Charles Entertainment Christ. We have secured the control point. We're good, we're good, we're good. Probably. This fucking spy. I don't know if I've ever seen a spy be a bigger fucking pussy. Like, this guy only does anything when his dead ringer is ready. And there goes your boost. I'm just gonna leave, because I'm gonna guess. <laughs> he switched to the danger shield, by the way, when I haven't even looked at him in, like, 15 minutes. The oldest view rolling giant. I don't know what that is. I'm very sorry, but I'll, uh... I'm gonna guess it's a stream sniper. Like, taunting after literally every single kill on me, specifically no one else. Like, I don't fucking give a shit. 
Yeah, there he is. Where's my where's my shit stop? There it is. <laughs> Becoming a pyromane. I, I ah damn it. I'll have to get a lot better at a. Uh... Oh my god, that is a fucking hell of an iron bomber. I have to get actually good at my flare punches and and shit. Getting good at rocket jump extreme. I could do that. I don't really see too many issues with that. It's just like... I feel like when I focus super hard on things like that, then I just don't get the chance to interact with chat as much. But I also feel like that's the kind of stream where it would be like... Almost a lot of the appeal would just come from... You know, a sort of chill out time with chat. You know what I mean? One health hero. Because I, like, rocket jumping is definitely not a strength of mine. Yeah, I suppose that just implies that most pyromans are good at, like, anything besides walking forward. Which. Oh, he fucking reflected my cleaver at me. Damn. You don't see it often. Why am I better at direct hit versus stock? Uh, it's not necessarily, like, objectively harder. It's just, like, I'd say that just comes down to, like, what your personal experience is and comes down to. Like, if you use a direct hit more, then you're probably just going to get better with it. Even if, like, for most players, the stock is generally more consistent. Damn it. Oh. Prefer face supports when it comes to Christianity and horror. You're a priest, you fight demons, and demons are scary. I mean, yeah, that's kind of like um, the exorcist, too, when you think about it. <laughs> Rest in peace, spy. And he is actually dead, which is good. You'll love to see it. I broke your stupid crap, moron. No, like, I, direct hit is not a straight upgrade. Missing out on splash utility when fighting groups is like, that's a big deal. Because, like, the damage buff that you get isn't enough to just, like, make up for the fact that you're not as good at fighting groups anymore. Like, if you were spending the same amount of rockets on a group as, like, a stock soldier was, then it wouldn't be a big fucking deal, but you're basically spending more. Because a lot of people still end up being two shots, and now it's just, like... Now, when you could previously two shot, like, a bunch of people, now you two shot people one at a time, basically. Okay, good. Their heavy is finally dead. Hi there. You're scary. Also, how did you f how did you finish me off? What happened? <laughs> Man. 
mid weapons equipped? Uh. I mean, like, I had Scattergun before on the, my scout loadout, but I'm playing on offense right now, so I want to use a shortstop. And it's coming handy. I've managed to delete a couple sentries. Also do that. Damn. Wasn't enough for a uh, crit wrap. Where is this demunitions, man? Oh, okay. Damn. That was a good shot. Yeah. Wow, they've got some good ass people on the enemy team. They've got, like, a ridiculous-ass demo with, like, 40,000 kills on his Iron Bomber and that fucking sniper. Like, Jesus Christ. And there he goes. Apparently. Oh. Is the knight a cheater? I have to ask. Also, ow, I exploded. Wait. No, it's just... That's just epic. That's not hail zone. I don't know. That was a flawless reflect, by the way. Ah, hi. Where's the sniper? I, I, I saw him. Ah, <laughs> uh, cleaver kills. They're, they're always going to be funny. Ah. Uh. I mean... <laughs> It's just funny. You other brothers can't deny. Oh, this guy's so fucking dead. No, he's dead. He's dead. Your hell's on sniper rifle can't save you now, dummy. I just want to say, Donald Trump is watching your stream right now with me, and he says you have no riz. Go back to Ohio, kid. Well, you can tell Donald Trump that... His mom. What now? You can tell Donald Trump that his mom voted for Biden and Crooked Hillary. Holy crap, Lois, Donald Trump. Ah, uh, that's... <laughs> He's vulnerable. Wait, who'd I hit? Who did I hit with the cleaver? Why the fuck am I alive? The 
the phlogistonator is fair and balanced. I, I've never said it isn't. It's annoying. Go! <laughs> uh, get tungstened. Yeah, when the flog is doing well, then it's the most annoying thing in the world, but when it's not doing well, it's just like, why do I even bother existing? I'm pretty sure that's like the fucking line, basically, that I used in my flog view. is just like, when you're winning, it's great, and when you're losing, blech. All right. Wait. That's bullshit. Thank you for the five dollars. That's such bullshit. I was looking at that man the entire fucking time. Was there a point where that spy was not on my screen that he was able to get a backstab on me? Because that just fucking... That was some bullshit right there. Yeah, it's a skill issue. Just don't get stabbed in the face and instantly killed. Yeah, thank you for the $5 dude is a RC fan. Is that a fan of the cola or like... Remote control. Yeah, so that spy is just going to pop up right around here in a second. I heard him. There he is. Ah. <sighs> It is all so tiresome. He just, he backstabs the retard standing next to my sentry. So that way he is able to just get like a free kill, basically. There. Oh, thank you. You're you're very helpful. That's depressing. That's where the spy is. Who's the retard that he's going to run towards?
Thank you. I, I'm sad. I was right about to place a dispenser. Right after my sentry went up, and then, uh, and then the sadness came. Yeah. Please tell me you picked those up and not the fucking spy. Thank you for the ammo, greatly appreciated. Okay, are we all good? That's scary. That's very scary. You're not allowed to get two of those in a row. This guy and his big nuts. This guy and his big nuts. He's just always after my damn sentry. Oh my lord. Man. Can I please build a sentry? There. I will now use this sentry to watch the flank. That's it, that's it, that's it. Just, just lead the enemy gamers into my sentry gun. And we'll all have a, a, a rollicking time. There we go. Hey. Don't hurt my dispenser. Okay. There he is. No, please. <sighs> it's all there's always a relief. There's always just that sense of relief when the fucking spy doesn't manage to stab a, a, someone with their with just the, the least the least amount of spatial awareness. If this fucking soldier with his big nuts gets my sentry again, I'm gonna I'm gonna nut all over him. All right, let's get some tungsten on these bitches. It's all so tiresome. It's so cool. 
Just see how much damage he just soaked up like a fucking sponge. He could just stand there for so fucking long. Okay. Walnuts in the pantry. Gonna eat some now. Enjoy your nuts. And I will enjoy mine. Okay. All good, all good. Oh dear. I really thought that was a smart play. I'm sad. It's his nuts. It's his big stupid fucking nuts. Well, I got the only teleporter up right now. It does not go nearly far enough. Kinda don't got much choice, though. <laughs> I tried, dog. Ah, oh, fuck you, spy. Fuck kunai spies. They're not human. Uh, okay. No more trade offers. I decided to check because I thought maybe I missed one. Does the gaming industry deserve the coming crash? I mean, probably. The game industry has been kind of sucking shit for a while now. Sucks since 2017. It's been longer than that. I mean, give me a break. Like, it's not just the fact that, you know, there's shitty microtransactions and DLCs and all this stupid garbage. All this anti-consumer shit that, like, you know, nobody wants to see that should just be part of the base game. Or at least it fucking would be if it were, like, you know, in the days before microtransactions existed. Like, it's... Games in general are, like, this is just not a sustainable model for games. Where, like... Damn it. I'm just trying to counter-snipe this guy. Because, like... I can tell he's good. Like, every game needs to be... This huge graphical... Basically, masterpiece. Ah. Uh, I, tr I, I tried to trip him up, but, like, doing the exact same thing I had been doing would have been the best optimal play. Get 
Like, games are putting way too much emphasis on graphics, I think. And, like, that just has this massive domino effect of problems because we need, like, pretty graphics for our nice screenshots. And this is a complete roll, isn't it? And there's a bot. Oh, give me a fucking break. No, is there two bots? Apparently. Yeah, all games need to appeal to all people at all times. And as it so turns out, the games that end up doing that um, are apparently really bad. Like... Am I supposed to play well on a server like this? Like, give me a fucking break. No, everything needs to be, like, super high fidelity, high graphics. Ooh, ah, so, so pretty, so pretty. Just give me good art direction. Who gives a shit how many fucking polygons your game has when, like, there's this stupid fucking gray filter over everything and it looks like ass? And there's a billion different fucking particle effects flying everywhere just to mask the fact that you have no sense of art direction whatsoever. Sylvie, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you think there's gonna be food for you in there? Are you stupid? You a stupid little cat? Get the hell out of here. Get out of my face. Games need to stop cramming in mechanics to appeal to everyone instead of doing one thing really well. Also, simpler games are easier to bug fix. Yep. Like, game genres exist for a reason, but now, like, games are so... Like, there's such this huge monetary expense. Like, AAA games cost basically as much as movies cost to make now. That you can't just be like, oh, hey, we need to have a game that appeals to, like, this demographic of gamers. No, we need the game that just does everything, that appeals to everyone. We need, like, the Marvel movies of video games. The Homer car. And then as it turns out, like, if you end up making a game that's just going to appeal to everyone, it turns out, what you're trying to make mostly just ends up being a fucking movie. At least that's the case as far as Sony is concerned, apparently. That's like their whole fucking brand at this point, just like, we make the movie games. Yeah, now they're quadruple A games, like, ooh, goody. So they cost even more to make, cost even more to buy have mildly more polygons in them, and have even less content. That's fantastic. I love the future of gaming. Those are bots. Like, I don't even necessarily, like, 
dislike the idea of a walking simulator game all that much, but it's just like when that's all that people are making, and they cost like millions of dollars to make them, when a fucking visual novel basically does the same fucking thing, and you can make one of those more or less for free these days, then like, wh where is the money going? Where's the money going, especially when, guess the fuck what, a lot of visual novels are a hell of a lot better written! Also, this is- th th this server's a disaster. <laughs> yeah, money laundering. I don't understand, man. Can I please play a game of Sniper, by the way? When will High Five Rush get its fish bites? Your game journal's level of stupidity needs to be shown to the world. Listen, the Chai Brain will be revealed. But, like, I- I was so fucking busy at the end of this month, man. Oh my gosh. Well, lots of mechanics combined them. I hate games like Cyberpunk that try to be multiple games instead of one game about doing several things. Yeah. Oh gosh. That was really good. Ah, well done. Do not abbreviate Cyberpunk, please. Well, I mean, like, there, there's a difference between a game with, like, you know, a, a, a solid core game and then, like, some mini games on top of that versus a game that is trying so many different things that it has no identity whatsoever. Also, thank you for the ten dollar dues between the two of you. Greatly appreciate that. I'm gonna have to like. I keep walking forward. I keep doing it. Also, Pyro, what are you doing? That's got to be like a spy, right? Yeah, Fortnite is now just like an everything game. Oh, you, you're a real son of a bitch, you know that? Well, I haven't played Cyberpunk, so I have no idea, like... I have no idea how true, the, true, true or false the claims are. Can I fight someone else besides you? Just teleporting to me every time I get to the front fucking lines? I just want to die to literally anyone else. It's not a stream sniper, I'm just cosmically unlucky. Not fucking going down this road again. I feel like this is just not a great this is a sniping situation. Four, three, two, 
No, I, I mentioned that with the, uh... Just the billion particle effects flying everywhere to mask the fact that you have no sense of art direction. Because, like, that's, that's definitely... A, a big modern trend, is they just... They just splash the screen with loads of shit so you can't even tell what's going on anymore. Third episode of the Avatar series coming. Um, I'll work on it. I'll, I, I will do my fucking best. I will do my best to get it out in a timely fashion. I feel like Overwatch did a lot to, uh, to just kind of damage, you know, good art direction. <laughs> because Overwatch did really good, and then everyone wanted to be just like Overwatch. Okay, this guy again. Overwatch was influenced by literally everything under the sun, and then it decided to just stick everything under the sun into the exact same goddamn game, and hope that it fit well together. Through some th fucking miracle, people were actually kind of cool with it. From day one. From day one, right, with the with the fucking characters designs of Overwatch. I was just like, this is a fucking mess. Overwatch just like at, at least in terms of characters, right? Overwatch just slapped literally everything it could find into a, a setting and just hoped it would stick. There's absolutely no cohesion whatsoever. Like, I think if it wasn't in the same general art style, right? If you took two Overwatch characters and put them right next to each other, nine times out of ten, you wouldn't be able to tell they're from the same fucking game. That's the MOBA character model. God, good thing I don't play MOBAs. Jesus Christ. I just feel like Overwatch in particular is like, just... Don't MOBAs usually at least have some kind of general fantasy baseline? It's not just like, oh, hey, what if we had a cowboy, and a monkey, and a robot ninja, and a regular ninja, and the Grim Reaper all in the same game. They do oh my god. I see you, banana. I don't know what your plan was. Okay, we're good. Then we might be rolling. There's a distinct possibility. <laughs> no. 
Oh my god, that guy's that guy slippery up there. The skins. What, the Overwatch skins? Oh, they're terrible. They just do even more to completely fuck with the cohesion. Hi there. Like, whatever cohesion could possibly be there is just like, no, it's gone now. Oh, MOBA skins. Then no. I I know basically nothing about MOBAs. Other than that they have uh, another acronym that... <laughs> that I'm not sure if I should say. Ow. the Overwatch skins that make the characters half naked. Is there one of those for May? I'm just asking. Overwatch's nonsense makes me appreciate Borderlands more. Bad dialogue aside, I like how it combines parts of similar genres into a coherent setting. Like, I definitely can understand the appeal in that. It's just like... I feel like Overwatch does a bad job at it. Damn. Uh, okay. Damn. That guy got fucked up. I mean, it was a bot, but it was a funny ragdoll regardless. Oh, thank you for banana. Or sandwich, even. I feel like I'm more used to seeing bananas lately. I don't know why. I'm not even here. I'm not even here. Okay. I thought that the Pyro's cone hat was the sniper's banana hat for a second. And that, that is just depressing. Also, thank you. Can I, can I get a heal please? Top me off, Doc. Look, Hollywood has realized that they've run out of basically everything to make movies out of, so they're doing video games now. The Super Mario Brothers movie was, like, mildly successful in that regard. Because they actually tried to make a movie. And not some kind of, like, weird lab experiment to see, like, how you can make people fall asleep. Gotcha. You're right. It, it was more than mildly successful, at least in terms of how much it made at the box office. But that's like all they need. Oh, jeez. Gotcha. There is a sentry there.
I'm very sorry, Waluigi Pinball. Oh, you gonna try that again? You sure are. I appreciate that. Damn it. Poor bastard. Oh my god. Pelvis Crusher is crushing some pelvises right now. What is with the snipers, asks the heavy player on Frontier. Also, ow. Did I see Ina's new outfit? No, I was fucking taking a nap when her, like, right when her stream was starting. Is it a good one? Is it, is it a good outfit? Also, I, I can't even see that man. Fuck Ina. Ina is my wife, I'll have you know. Okay, one of my wives. One of my seven wives. That's right. I'm a polygamist. Where is... Where is Banana Man? Ow. Nope, I'm dead. I hope it was worth it. But this is kind of that point in Frontier where no one can really do anything. I really wish this pyro wouldn't do anything, because every second that he exists just fills my life with pain. Bah. on me. This, this banana man. Mm. A 360 no scope headshot? I don't think I can do that. Because you kind of have to scope the headshot unless you're using the classic. That, why are you using the pain train on, on defense? You stupid?
Da. Oh, come on. You gotta come out eventually. Bastard. Pain train on defense. Man is playing at a, like a at a, a self-imposed handicap. Is banana still there on the roof? No. Someone has defeated the banana. I did it. I helped. Yeah, I'm credit to team. It, kinda. I'm I, I'm there. I'm on the scoreboard. I have I'm hey, I'm our highest scoring sniper. For whatever that's worth. Oh. Okay. Oh, just showing off our taunts here, huh? Okay. See, we both got we got we both got the spinny runes. Oh. The influx of idle taunts. I don't really mind them all that much, honestly. Like, I know Zesty really fucking hates them. I honestly really don't care. I'm fine with them. Like, pretty much that sort of situation right there is basically what they're perfect for. We're just like, hey, we're we're just goofing off having a fun time in, like, the, the fucking pregame. Because unless you're, like, Engineer or maybe Demo Man or Medic... You're not really doing much in the pregame outside of just, like, getting to the front lines. So, having some idle taunts to, like, just kind of dick around with your teammates with, I don't really mind that too much. It's fine. Ow. I really hope that would have hit. There's not even a blood shot on his face, though, so I can't even blame Pink for that. No, uh, he's not dead. Yeah, and if you're on blue team, then you're not doing anything at all except on, like, a couple of maps. Where you can actually, like, build as an engineer. And even then, uh, not not by a whole hell of a lot. Well, you can build on steel. You ain't doing much, though. Ugh. Damn. That spy is around spawn somewhere. He's gonna try and spawn camp. Uh. Okay, that's our spy. Good. Oof. Thank you very much, Pyro, by the way.
Thank you for banana. That's sandwiched again. Damn it. I keep thinking it's banana. It's not though. Bah. Thank I see you. You ain't slick. You're you're more slick. I'll give I'll give you that. Why am I such a boring sock that I have barely any mods installed? Mostly because I just don't enjoy the process of confusing people with some kind of mod and then explaining over and 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 over again every single fucking stream what the mod is. So I'd rather avoid that if possible. The less amount of times I have to answer the exact same question in my life, the better. And also, like, I just kind of like vanilla TF2. I, I see nothing wrong with it. Ooh! I, I feel like putting mod links in a paste bin wouldn't help me out all that much, considering, like, how few people just read the description in general. I'm very surprised I hit that. Ah. Do I have the razor back? Like, do I own it? Yeah. Am I wearing it right now? No. Ow, that was... Uh... Like, the Banana Boy is an unexpected threat. He's very sneaky despite his banana. It's a very large and girthy banana. Son of a bitch! Like, why is he looking down there? I mean, okay, I guess that makes more sense than some of the other fucking... Some of the other just sniper scope downs I've seen, but still. Not a chance, spy. Aw, oh, that made me sad. I should have just gone for the no scope. Is he actually gonna. <laughs> Not on my watch, motherfucker. Ooh. Oh no, our dispenser's down. Okay, well well crushed. Good job crushing his pelvis. Oh wait, I see you, banana man. Hopping over on the white hot sand. I'm gonna fucking get your ass. This is what I would have said if Okay. <laughs> your banana was your was your downfall that time. One can never expect a banana to last forever. Sun Tzu said that. A dis banana for you. Ba -ba -ba. 
Why don't you do cool frag montages? Mostly because I'm not all that good at the game. God damn it. I tried making a frag montage one time. Like, here's the thing. I'm not that good at the game, and I'm not that good at, like, cool stylized editing. My editing is extremely bare bones and does, like, the bare minimum needed to just, like, get the job done. While still clearly taking some amount of effort to be like, oh, hey. <laughs> what I'm talking about on screen actually matters right now. Or what I'm talking about is actually relevant to what's on screen, I should say. Oh. Damn it. Oh my god, they're all dead. Oh. Hi, hi, Mr. Demo Man. Okay. Was he so healthy? He had a medic on him. Just a bit, a bit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this guy with the backstab headshot. No, I'm not. He's gonna come from up there, though. No, he's not. Oh, not a chance. You think I'm gonna let you get away with that? Uh-uh. That'll... I, I shake my fist at you. You'll get yours, I say. Ah. I think this guy might be better than me. Yeah, I'll bite my thumb at him. Why did I get that sound effect? Med down. You're right. I am better than me. Look, buddy. Accept your... Wait, was it accept your defecations? Fuck. Oh my god, I need to- I need to memorize it again. Sniper gameplay for fun. Nah. I'm just <laughs> trying to get back in the sniper groove. No, biting the thumb is like a... It's antiquated, but it is a real gesture of, like, disrespect. It, it's a plot point in Romeo and Juliet. I remember that from my English class. If you love soup so much, why don't you marry soup? Because I'm already married to justice. Oh, know when you're defeated, accept your defecation. That's what it is. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, only a blind girl would marry you. I know everything you're gonna say, and I know everything you're gonna don't. Hey, I made another milkshake today. I think it was more milk than shake, though. Uh... 
Both of these are hybrid knight. I want... Okay, where's my... Where's one of my many loose cannons? There we go. Nah, it wasn't quite the right consistency. It was a bit too milky. That's part of the learning process. I also made this like a... Um, this sort of... Like, potatoes and cheese sauce with like bacon bits. I don't know what I'd call it. Like, I was getting somewhere with it, but... It wasn't quite there. I needed more cheese sauce. Probably could have buttered things up and like seasoned the potatoes more. Twice baked? No. Maybe that was the problem. Damn. That would have been cool. What? Doesn't sound healthy, but it sounds tasty. It could have been tastier. That was that was my ultimate problem with it. It's just like the concept for this is better than the execution. But I, in fairness, I think it was my execution that was the problem. Like I didn't have enough cheese sauce, which is like the next time I end up trying to make this, that's like what I'll end up doing. I think. Um, I think the potatoes were also weren't like diced enough. Ah, you, you're a real son of a bitch. You know that. Also, do we have like? Potatoes al gratin. I'll look it up. I saw it from like a... I was in like the frozen food section. And I saw like... Baked or like just diced potatoes with fucking... Cheddar cheese sauce and bacon bits in it. And I'm just like, okay. We have our good friend back again. This guy is incredibly desperate. Yeah, there he is. Kill yourself. Oh. Oh. Damn. Oh wow, Andy's a furry. That's the biggest shock of the fucking century. There we go, I blocked it. Now I'll know if it ever shows up again. Damn it all. Yeah, just a strange sniper. I don't know what the fuck what my medic was doing that whole time. I guess he's just running around with his needle gun. Because he just feels like it. What is he doing? Well, I donked someone.
I'm real, I'm real, relax. Yeah, he's just running around with needle gun. So that's a little bit frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. Like, he's using the vaccinator and everything, too, so... Okay, we good? Needle medic a subclass? I mean, hey, battle medic. That's been a thing for a while. <laughs> hey, at least the medic in the MVM stream had like... He had mad milk syringes, alright? He was- he was doing... something. Yeah, Battle Medic is like one of those Fat Scout ones where it's just like... It's... not technically a loadout change, you're just ignoring a part of your loadout. Thank you. There he goes. He's off to that 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 good old pasture. Seriously, kill yourself. Nope. Okay, are we good? What the fuck? Do they have like a secret teleporter or something? Because this is like a shitty map to do that on. There he goes. No, uh, no, I'm not here. Nope. Like, I view Battle Medic and Fat Scout and Gun Spy as kind of in the same tier of just, like, this isn't really a loadout change, you're just kind of ignoring one part of your class to do something that's generally way less effective. Except I feel like Gun Spy has the potential to be, like, reasonably consistent. I'm dead.
Did I launch the scout or the spy rather behind me? What was going on there? Very nice. Fucker! I got this guy read like a fucking book. He's just not doing much for me. Yeah, I'm not fast enough. Oh. Oh, and the friggity fuck. No, four slots on heavy. This is a discussion that's been had many times. Oh. Oh, he... Okay, we double donked each other. It was f fair enough. I think that might have a secret teleporter. That's that's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, they sure do. Gonna Of course not. Heavy doesn't even suck. Heavy does not suck dick. Where? Like, where does this idea come from that Heavy sucks? Like, just because he's not, what, the most competitively viable class? Like, no. You give Heavy four slots in pubs, like... That's insane. Aw, oh, I thought that would have killed you. Well, this is the most annoying server ever. Like, in casual, Heavy does his job just fine, and, like, also Highlander to an extent. Like... Heavy does a good job at, like, what he's supposed to do. It's just that a lot of people don't like playing him. I don't think people would like playing him, like, a lot more if he had the four slots, even. I don't think that would fix it. Also, where the fuck is everyone going on this server? Oh my god, that was scary. Is that a bot? Yeah, it sure is. Huh. <sighs> okay, we got two teleporters. What are my PC specs? Um, enough. Not great, but enough. Oh. Oh, you're a spy, you're a spy. <laughs> and now you're dead. Sucker. Son of a bitch. Oh, 
they nerf the chocolate instead of fixing the overheal exploit. I don't mind that. Like, I'm, I'm fine with the chocolate where it is right now. What? I was gonna fucking say. That guy... Did he get a backstab? He must have been overhealed or something, to some capacity. Aww. That's depressing. Aww. I'm like almost getting cool combos. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't eat fish. This is another conversation that we have a lot, also. Arrow? Something? Thank you. Oh. Oh, oh what? That's gotta be... That's one of the bots, I think. What if we gave Heavy a massive fucking sword? Yeah, what if we just made Heavy Guts Berserk, man? This guy with his sentry ended up being... ...perhaps the most surprising nuisance. Also, ow. Ow. It's not that I don't like fish, I don't eat fish. I've had salmon like once and it was like, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna keep eating it though. Duh. Yes, I, ha I had salmon, like, once, because even though I didn't want to eat it, my mother has no understanding of the concept of boundaries and just shoved it in my fucking face until I'm like, okay, fine, Jesus Christ, I'll eat the salmon. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. I, I just really didn't want to eat it, though. Ah. Ah. Oh, hi. Was that the sniper? Yep, sure was. I'm not even sure if this guy is a bot now. King size ultra crabby supreme with the works double batter fried on a stick. Well, that depends on what's even in the the Krabby Patty secret formula. I guess no, he's not dead. I was so confused. I was looking down there at like the spectacle going on.
Damn. Yeah, we're just having a fish discussion now with a guy who doesn't eat fish. I tried. I'm still trying. Good luck, sniper. Yeah, you're gonna need it. Hi. Can I? Thank you, God. I live at the beach. I, I used to live within relative walking distance of a beach. Just because I live, like, in San Diego County does not mean I live at the beach. I think we're kind of just getting crushed. Yes, I, I really do think it's weird that out of all the war paintable weapons, like they chose the Holy Mackerel, I genuinely don't know what they were thinking there. God. Apparently I need the fucking Neon Annihilator. That's depressing. Yeah, I know. Ew, California. Oh, good. It's this thing again. Can I? I'm at four health. I'd like a. You can arrow me. You're, you're so comfortable standing on all those stickies. I don't even know what I hit you with. I don't, like, I, I had the medic on me at some point there, right? I, I don't eat fish because, like, I, I would just not like to contribute to the practice of overfishing. And I know that there are fish farms to help with that, but fish farms are also not amazing. Like, even if they're better, you know, in terms of ethics or their impact on fish populations, they're usually not the most sanitary. I literally just chose the name Fish Stick on a Stick because I thought it was funny. I came up with it when I was like 13 years old. Actually, probably, no, it was earlier than that. Who is behind me? Hi there. Oh, I thought I reflected that. Fish farms in Minecraft.
Okay. Uh, this guy's got a shotgun. That means he's stronger than me. I... I will, I will run in every molecule around you except the fucking... The, the area that I can air blast you in. Okay, then. <laughs> that was something. Oh, hi. You still up here? Yeah, you sure. <laughs> well, now you're not. Hi there. There's people around me. I'm scared. Okay. Thank you for dispenser guts. Waluigi Pinball got his revenge. Out of all the animals to farm, fish are the least bad in terms of ethics. I mean, like, I guess? I'm not sure entirely what you mean by that, though. Like, I guess you mean, if you mean in terms of the alternative, which is just, like, unsustainably harvesting fish until the end of fucking time, which seems to be the plan right now. Yes. If you mean in terms of keeping them in inhumane conditions because they're fish and they don't have feelings, then no, fuck you. Yeah, fish farms are just a big source of pollution. It's not very sanitary. And it's not even just like, oh, they keep the pollution to themselves. Like, no, they... They, they spread all the pollution out to surrounding waters, so it's... It's very hard to find, like, sustainably harvested fish just in general Jeebus yeah pollution comes from fish farms because like there's just all these fish in one static location when ordinarily they'd be all over the damn place And they're not getting the chance to, like, do anything or go anywhere. Are we good? Can we push? No, we can't. Because there's a cloud. Oh, he's a bot.
Yeah, honestly, Man Melter may not be a bad idea in this particular instance. I'll switch over to uh, the Dragon's Fury loadout uh, right now, apparently. I was going to say after this life. Ah, uh, keep it coming. Anyone else? Ah. Switching to nuclear power would be good right now? Just in general? Like, yeah, obviously. It's the obvious solution. But, like, no one wants to go for it because there's just been so much anti-nuclear sentiment and, uh, let's be honest, propaganda over the years that, like, a lot of people just aren't going to go for it. Unless some serious countermeasures are made against that sentiment. Okay, we got some spies coming in. This guy's got good ass aim. Okay. Yeah, you just keep that fucking beam on me. Are they gonna leave there? Cause I saw him go in. I ain't seen him come out. There he is. That's so sad. That's so depressing. Because here's the thing, right? Like... Even though, like, a mass switch to nuclear power would pretty much be the best thing for humanity as a whole, you know who it wouldn't be good for? Oil companies. It'd be really bad for oil companies. I wish I didn't take, like, a body shot before I got into that fight. Greenpeace has also dealt just such a massive fucking blow. I don't know if, like... I don't know if they took money from oil companies for all the anti-nuclear shit they've been pushing. But, like, I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, damn. A factory new strange steel brush, what would I put it on? Um... Hmm, I have to think about that. But what about Chernobyl? Listen, the only thing that you could possibly learn from Chernobyl is that communists are so fucking retarded that they can't even boil water. That is the only thing of value that you could possibly get from Chernobyl. I'm going to run into the same fucking pyro forever, aren't I? You think communism has killed enough communists? Uh, total communist extermination. Millions must starve.
That's depressing. We good? Are we pushing this thing? Damn. <laughs> Poor sniper. Natasha heavy. There he is. Hi there. Hi there. Wow. Okay. You're scary. Also, when I'm the only person running into the pyro, that means that the man melter is kind of not really doing its job. Also, ow. I don't think we're going to be able to push here. Wait. Now it's doing its job. I feel so alive. It's gone. Oh, hi. Hey, where are you going? Oh no, I'm dead. How long does the March catch-up fundraiser going for? It says 21 days left to go there. Because, um... Yeah, that's when I get paid again. I'd like to make the money before then. Text too small. It's okay. Anyone saying they wouldn't suck dick for a million dollars is stupid. You're the kind of motherfucker that suck dick for bus money and walk home. Mm. What's with the March catch-up? I didn't make very much money in March. So this is my, my vain, pathetic, desperate attempt to try and make up for that. Okay. I I feel like every time I go on stand and there's just bots there. Five hundred K or the dinner with Jay Z. That is a reference that I don't understand. <laughs> Needing to eat isn't really pathetic. I suppose, huh? I feel like I haven't played Spy just in general in a very long time. Probably because of how many Spy videos I've made. Wow, two in a row. That's cool.
Merc Park again, man. Player Destruction. Player Destruction's alright. I enjoy it. It's kind of a fun take on the whole team deathmatch concept. Turn the players into the objectives. Worse for TF2, meet your match or Jungle Inferno. Meet your match easy, that's not even close. Jungle Inferno was a pretty damn good update. Like, all things considered. Especially, I think, considering it was a follow-up to meet your match. Meet your match, I think, had some... Alright, balance change is like certainly better than something like gunmetal, which is just like Ew, the current kunai, the current vaccinator, the fucking current caber, all this, you did all this in one fucking update and people are just like, oh man, meet your match. That was the that was the one that the fucking comp fags ruined. Nah, D Jungle Inferno was a good update. Jungle Inferno was a good update that should have been, like, a sign of things to come for TF2 going forward. But, like, we just got nothing after that, except for Blue Moon, which... Arguably should have been another sign of things to come for TF2. Like, okay, a little, little sporadic changes... A couple of little facelifts here and there, but nothing super crazy. And then after that, it was really just nothing. Like, the consensus that everyone except, like, Skunt can come to is just... The Sandman deserved to be nerfed, but it didn't deserve to be nerfed that hard, you know? Oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay, that was pretty fucking sick, you gotta admit. If I hit the second one, too, that would have been awesome. <laughs> Man, this thing is desperate. Oh, sure, nerf that hard over, like, like, this is a better state than the alternative, which is the Sandman wasn't changed at all. Where did my... I, I scrolled down, and it did not fucking switch over to my, to my Quickie Bomb launcher. I know that the stream sniper is in my team. It is incredibly desperate. Yep. Damn it all. And now they got another bot. Is this yet another fucking complete steamroll? No, you're just going back into spawn. What the fuck? Running back into spawn at full health. I, d I don't understand nothing, man. Oh my god. Oh, 
Listen. Oh, it's you. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, fucking loser. Uh... Yeah, I know where he's gonna go. Da Aw. I screwed up my taunt opportunity. Also, also, please! It's not about whether or not I would have died. It's about sending a message. And that message is generally an unambiguous kill yourself right the fuck now. Also, that was cool. That was just generally fucking annoying. But that kill I got was cool. Double dunk into quickie air shot. Pretty nutty. So I got some nice donks that game, even if um even 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 if the match itself was, let's say, subpar. My understanding is that like Meet Your Match and Jungle Inferno just kind of underperformed in terms of like player counts and all that sort of thing so they weren't the, the the massive overwhelming successes that valve was hoping for and so yeah like tf2 just kind of went on the back seat and eventually just kind of went to an extreme version of that where he's just like tf2 is in like a nice little it's in a nice little farm it'll come back any day now Oh, a Natasha heavy. God, this guy's desperate. Okay, you're real. Well, thank you for the 10 English funny bucks. I appreciate it very much. Also, I feel like some of those shots should have hit. <laughs> Dead. No, you're real. Oh. Bad time to Criticola. Oh, the double! The double bleed! The... Completely stuffed my projectile there. Ooh. Dog, I'm feeling it. What in the flippity flippity? That's depressing. Damn. I was feeling it there, though. I feel like I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting my groove back. And all it's taken is one day where I just kind of don't feel like ripping my hair out. 
at just every given opportunity. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I mean, I meant to, but I didn't realize you were low. Vicious new crew. Oh, jeez. Wait, 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 wait. It is a scary thing seeing just like a skull cutter demo in skull cutting range. Natasha Heavy's dead. Soldier's dead. Thoughts on Hibernite? Hibernite can be fun. But, like, I generally prefer to go, like, full demo. If I am going to go Hybrid Knight, though, then I pretty much will always use the Claymore. Ooh! That Sniper, he got messed up. Ah, <sighs> uh, it never gets old. opinion on rock like the like minerals like boulders like the music like the 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 wrestler slash actor oh Ah, That'll do it. Okay, well, that and a crit will do it. Air shot. Aw. <laughs> that was... That was basically a snipe. Like, the, the, the rock is alright, but I'm definitely more of a fan of the boulder! The boulder is gonna bury you in a rock a -land. I fucking see you, but... I know you're not dead, but that was a funny ragdoll. Bochi the boulder. How healthy are you, my man? God damn. You had so many opportunities there. I don't know if that helped you, but I gave it my best. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Damn. Also. You ain't slick. Uh. Damn, I tried. Yes, okay. 
Yeah, I'm, I, I, again, like, all I needed was just one stream where I really just don't feel like tearing my hair out through the whole thing. Maybe that has to do with my sheer state of utter exhaustion, or maybe it's just, like, now that I'm done with making three, technically four, giant-ass videos in, like, a week, all the stress has left my body, because it's just like, it's done, it's over, I can rest now, I can, I can die easy. I don't have to worry about putting out the fucking the Avatar video and wrestling with copyright while also trying to make the new Vegas video and wondering if that's going to perform well. It's just like, it's it's done. It's over. What's done is done, and it's just out there in the universe now. See, taking my time doesn't really work when it's like... The video has to be done within the month for me to make, like, money from it in the month. You know what I mean? No, of course you're not dead, because you're just a giant fucking pussy who can't play without both of your spy training wheels. <sighs> Greatly appreciate the on-screen reference to trained wrong on purpose. I must apologize for Prince Zuko. He is an idiot. We have purposefully trained him wrong as a joke. I'm really hoping that, like, just the, the Avatar video ends up paying off in terms of this big algorithm gamble. Because, uh... Like, for starters, I think just having something basically totally different to edit in the meantime in between the other videos would be just very helpful for my mental fortitude. And tend on doing creative pauses. I will do more in the future, yes. I at least want to... Ah, god damn it. I at least want to finish that off. Certainly with Happy Happy. You know what I mean? Oh, it's a fucking brandy. Fucking. Perhaps part of the reason I was so tired today, or like I am so tired today just in general. Fucking brandy woke me up. I think what happened is. She was falling off the bed. And so she's like, oh no, I'm slipping off the bed. I need to grab onto something. And so she hooks right into my foot. Just digs her, one of her big ass claws right into my foot. R right on, like, my heel, where I got a big scar on my foot already. So I don't know if she just made that worse. Which class might be next for FMV? I'm kind of thinking soldier. I was thinking either soldier or scout. It might make sense to do like a defense class next, just because like I've done one support, one offense. I should probably do a defense next, but like soldier and scout are the ones that are interesting me right now. But if I had to pick a third place one, it would probably be demo.
I think going for an explosive build could be fun, but that's also part of why I'm considering Soldier, because I feel like the beginning of the game for Soldier would be the most interesting, with me trying to, like, rush getting a missile launcher somehow. <laughs> uh, I don't care about the bot. That was that was awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was good. Threat right, FNV as a heavy was easy and boring. See, you're probably not going to go for the same challenge that I'm going to go for, which is only being allowed to heal through food instead of stim packs. Where'd it go? Oh, it's dead. Cool. Well, Soldier has, like, not just the shovel, but also the single shotgun, which I get in Good Springs. I have the uh, plasma pistol, which is my Righteous Bison. So, I'll have options. But it's just, like, all of my options for getting a missile launcher early in the game are going to be a massive pain in the ass with, like, just those kind of crappy weapons. Especially because one of those, um, one of those missile launcher options is the red glare. And it's just like, getting past those sentry bots at the beginning of Lonesome Row is just like, what are my options there? My, the fucking pulse slugs with the single shotgun may honestly be one of my better bets. Ah, oh, jeez. Is that possible? I don't know. That's why I'm challenging myself. Getting into the Air Force Base? That is one of my other options. I can either rush Lonesome Road to get Red Glare. I can, e I can rush Black Mountain to get Annabelle. Or I can rush Nellis. Just in general. Yeah, the server is so fucked. Those are my best options for getting a missile launcher early in the game. So it'll be interesting. That That's kind of like where some of the excitement for Soldier comes from. It's just like, ooh, ooh, this will be fun. And then with Scout, it's like the limited shotguns I have with being restricted to the lever action and double barrel ones. I think that could be pretty interesting. I won't even do medic. Um, by having my companions do most of the work. And also by using the nail gun. Oh yeah, the katana. I forgot that was for soldier too. Um, I thought that was just going to be like a demo weapon. Uh, there is also the nail board, but like... The shovel is better than that, so there's no point in using it. Because you get the shovel in the first town and the nail board, like... You can first get that, like, afterwards. Aw, oh, I was really hoping that I could... Soldier backpack shoes? I mean, there's no... There's no backpack or shoe item in New Vegas, really. Heal my companions. Stim packs. Lots and lots of stim packs. Uh, hey, Heavy, listen, I, I appreciate it. Everyone loves a good fat scout, right? But, like, can it wait until you guys kick your bot that you are absolutely refusing to kick? Why is this so. This is just such a common thing. They just refuse to kick it. Will I even do diaper? Or is he too... Oh, sniper! I was so fucking confused! <laughs> okay, sniper, I'm working on some limitations and challenges to make him more interesting because 
I think that Sniper, like, if I just played Sniper straight, kind of like I did with Pyro in this video, that'd be way too boring and way too easy. Can't any character use Old Glory since it's like the Freedom Staff? Yes! And I'm kind of saving that for Medic. Because I don't know what else to do with Medic for like a melee weapon. So that means both of Medic's weapons that he can actually use to damage stuff with will come from Lonesome Road. Because he has the Nail Gun from Lonesome Road and also the Old Glory, which you only get at the very end. Like, basically everyone else has access to Old Glory, except for, um, Sniper, or not Sniper, uh, Spy and Engineer. So Engineer's only option for a, uh, for a melee weapon will pretty much be the Power Fist, as my stand-in for, uh... <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> uh... I'm sorry. But, like, you're the pocketed flog, Pyro. You kind of deserve the taunt after you get your entire uber stuffed by a single loose cannon demo. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. If it were me on the other end of that double dong, I would have been like, you know what, that's fair. No, there's no, like, wrench weapon in New Vegas. Like, there's wrenches that you can just find around the wasteland, but you can't use them as weapons. Same with bone saws, actually. They're just kind of, like, junk items that you sell for, like, a couple of caps of vendors. He was, he was out for blood that time, also. Okay. I don't know how the hell the medic got yet another uber so fucking fast, but alright. Ah, it's you again. Yay, it's back. combat knife as the printing machete. I mean, like, I already used basically, like, the one version of the combat knife, the uh, the unique version, Chance's knife, as just, like, Spy's weapon. I use that as kind of just, like, the, the stand-in for all knives. Rather than specifically as a printing machete. Like, I could... I could stretch that? But, like, I don't know, it's... Damn, I thought I juggled him into, a, like, a second double dog there. Fallout 4 in general may be better for just, like, certain classes than New Vegas, but I'm doing New Vegas first, because it's the best one. Damn. That was good, but I, ho I hope for a bit more. I think Heavy will be easy. With the added, um... With the added challenge of only being able to heal with uh, food items and not with stem packs, I think it'll be a decent challenge. Ow. I, I will probably play Fallout 1 and 2 at some point. It's just like, it's a, it's, it's a big learning curve, you know? 
I have my criticisms of Bethesda, but like by turning Fallout into a first-person shooter series, they certainly made it a lot more accessible to idiots like me. Oh my lord. Damn it. Yeah, that's just kind of all the red team. I actually wish I was this guy with the Scottish resistance right now, because, like, damn. Damn it. Ow. Oh. That would have been so fucking good if I hit that. No, I think even the original plan for, like, the, the original Fallout 3 before the company was bought out by Bethesda, or before the IP was bought out by Bethesda, rather, was to, um, was to change the genre from isometric, but... I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. Oh, hi. Wow, I can't believe I keep living this shit. I'm very sorry, but I had very little health. Thank you. I'm sorry. I went to that one, like, specifically because it wasn't up at the front lines. I thought, like, no one's gonna miss this one. Oh, bot. Whoa. Damn, you headshot the bot. Nice job. Unless you're also a bot, in which case... Uh, die. <laughs> Bots use the heat maker because, like... Theoretically, if you have perfect aim, then it's arguably the best one. Like, the, the, the whole permanent um, uh, tunnel vision thing doesn't really matter if you're a bot and you have, like, ESP and know exactly where everyone is at all times. And basically, while you're reloading, you just get free charge. So, yeah, that lets you just head, sh like, insta-kill even more people as soon as you're ready to shoot. Like, I think to even more of a degree than the Bizarre Bargain does, it's just that, like, the Bizarre Bargain is just way better. <laughs> like, Focus is a powerful ability when you remember to use it, it's just like... The thing is, a lot of actual snipers just forget to use it, and also... Um, actual snipers aren't superhuman and know literally everything about what's going on in the map at all times. Which is kind of important. Uh, is our med still alive? I don't know. He's, he's somewhere. Thank you. That made me sad. 
I wish the medic kept healing me, but he didn't. Good show on the new Vegas video. Really enjoyed it. Thanks. I, I appreciate that because I was honestly, like, worried a bit about the video. Because, like, when I finished the script, I realized, like, oh, God. That's actually, like, a lot shorter than the, uh, than the spy one was. And I'm like, damn. Like, I know that I ended up explaining things in detail more at the beginning of the spy video. But, like, at the same time. I don't want to rip people off, you know? Well, well, not rip people off, maybe, but just, like, you know, not not deliver when I could. <laughs> That's kind of why I ended up just including a lot of little... Little bits from the stream. Just kind of little stream jokes. So it's kind of a half highlights, half scripted situation. Well, maybe like 75% scripted, 25% highlights. Yeah, like... I was kind of in a rush when I finished writing the script, and so I was just like... I was worried that might be the reason for it. Every fucking time, dude. I'm so sick of random crits. Oh, we're not- we're not done with- with pain in the new Avatar show by a long shot. I have lots of things to say about the Kyoshi Warriors episode. Oh, you've made a mis you've made a grave mistake. I've made a grave mistake. Everyone but me made a grave mistake. Oh, I thought I hit that. Also, ow. I can smell your desperation from here. Yes, I did say Legend of Korra was bad. I have many, many, many opinions on the Legend of Korra, just as a as a series. Yeah, they they took out they took out basically everything about the Kyoshi Warriors episode except for the fact that they go to Kyoshi Island. They're, they're very, very different episodes. Like, hey, now that I actually have this series on my, uh, on the main channel, I don't have to, like, spend all my time fucking just yammering about it on stream. I could just be like, you know what? How about I just save that for the video? And that could be, like, the fun thing we do. Is Korra too political for- Not really? If anything, I wish it was more political. At least within the context of the universe. Mission ends in 30 seconds. Like, my- my- one of my issues with Korra is that... They do end up raising these interesting ideas in, in the universe, right? Like, usually uh, from the perspective of the villain, right? And Korra is this character who is just very punch first and ask questions never because why would I fucking bother? And so when you have these sort of ideologically motivated villains combined with someone whose primary solution is just to punch the idea of inequality in the face, 
that could potentially make for a very interesting conflict and add like like you could do a lot with that you could do so much with that it's not even that they like it's not it's not even necessarily that Korra is too dumb for politics it's that they dumb down all of her conflicts to her level instead of allowing her to grow you know what i mean like Amon can't just be a guy who has a point that Korra needs to take down through her intelligence and through learning and growing mentally, emotionally, spiritually, perhaps. None of that. He is just an evil dick who is doing bad things for literally no reason. And so now it is a perfectly acceptable solution to just punch him in the face and win the day. Because the, no actual point is being made. He's just an asshole and a liar. Also, yeah, I, there's like 12 minutes left of the stream. I'm not playing on Powerhouse. I'm very sorry. But then, even when it is a good idea to just, like, punch the idea of inequality in the face, then it's just like, oh, we gave the idea of inequality the most overpowered fucking bullshit in the entire universe. Where he can just, like, fucking paralyze you with a thought. And also permanently take away your bending. Because old bloodbending was not powerful enough. Oh, 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 that pesky full moon limitation. Why did we ever write that in, thought Brike, for some fucking reason? That was sad. All because I chose to target the scout first, and that just left me completely helpless. Avatar needs a balance update. Oh, they balanced Avatar, all right. They did that by fucking nerfing the shit out of the Avatar state because Korra is literally useless with it. Oh, expanding bloodbending sounds cool, but, like, just making it ridiculously overpowered is not cool. It's just bloodbending, but better. And that is... I, I find that kind of insulting when it's, like... Do you remember how bloodbending was invented? It was invented by an imprisoned woman practicing it whenever she got the opportunity for years on end. And then continued to use it against, like, civilians for years. But she never practiced with it enough to learn how to be a psychic bloodbender when Amon and his brother are shown doing it as fucking children. That's some girl power right there. Like... Did you hate Hama or something? <laughs> Did you hate her specifically? Because I can't think of too many other explanations for why you just, like completely butchered her so hard without even, like, having her be there. 
Like, genuinely, how the fuck did you manage that? Hama did not have a second of screen time, and she was butchered. Fucking master waterbender who, in completely on her own, invented this ridiculous technique through years of trial and error. No, just... Do it without the full moon while you're a child. On multiple targets at once. Without even, like, moving. Like, seriously, fuck you. Just, like, on a principle level alone, fuck you. <sighs> yeah, just making it psychic powers, basically, is also just really dumb, because the entire idea of bending is that it's an extension of martial arts. And now it's just superpowers. Like, that was another cool thing about bloodbending, is how, like, Hama had this whole puppet theme going on. And then the movements for, like, controlling someone with bloodbending were kind of like a marionette, almost. Which was, like, one, proper, and two, really fucking creepy. Like, I wish that was my only fucking issue with the show is, oh no, they ruined bloodbending, and by extension, like, one of the coolest fucking one-off villains that the show ever had. There's more to it than that, though. And as soon as I get to my ridiculously lengthy script on the topic, hopefully you guys will understand my perspective on Korra a bit better. Hello. Do we have... No, our medics. Oh, there he is. <laughs> In the first episode is a feature-length movie. It's not like an episode-by-episode -episode breakdown. It's more of a full series sort of thing where I just go over topic-by-topic. -topic. Like the supporting cast, the setting, Korra herself, all the villains... Something like that, rather than, um, rather than an episode-by-episode -episode breakdown. I could do that, but... Uh, I don't know. That's a lot. But the effects were decent. Damn. Damn. Oh no, like, if you don't... I, I've said this before, right? Like, if you don't really give a shit about, like, just how much it fucks with Avatar and its lore and all you want, literally all you want is an action cartoon where you don't have to think about it too hard and can just watch the pretty colors, then sure, go, go watch the fuck out of Korra, you'll love it. You'll have a fucking blast, but like... You can do better, because having a good story and having good action are not mutually exclusive. Yeah, in other words, if you're not overanalyzing Avatar. Oh my god, I feel bad. I started watching that guy's videos, like, semi-recently, and I was honestly kind of disappointed, because I was just like, 
I expected way more overanalyzing, I guess. Would I say Korra has good action? For the most part? Season 3 certainly has, like, really good action. It's got some pretty awesome fight scenes. But, like... A big part of what I like about action is, like, character stuff. And with Korra, the characters are so just flat and shitty that it's really hard for me to, like, latch on to anything there. Ex except for just, like, whoa, that that's really cool choreography, I guess. Yeah, it can't just be like a cool fight scene is happening for me. It's there, like there's got to be more to it than that. Ah, there's a spy around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, whoa, nice graphics. Or of course, the effects were decent. Okay, in we go. Well, that's it then. The Ember Island players is so fucking evergreen, man. <laughs> Because they keep fucking it up. Uh, well, I think that's just about everything. Like, we had a pretty good stream, I'd say. Not too bad. Even with the, the desperate fucking weirdo who really really wanted me to get angry at him yeah see you you desperate weirdo you let me just uh real quick here by the way There you go. Be on Rehab Monday? Well, yeah, I mean, that's when the, uh... That's when the, the fun is happening. So, obviously, I, I gotta hang around for that. In any case, I greatly appreciate just everything. That was really... We had a good time today. We had a very nice time. We played some games, we got some donks, we got some headshots. And we're almost a quarter of the way to the donation goal. I mean, really more than a quarter of the way, because Jesus Christ. How many fucking super chats did I how much did I make in super chats today? I have to know. See all from today. I'll have to check that later. Oh, so it's from here on, so two dollars, five dollars, five euros, five dollars. I felt like two bucks each, so it's like six bucks. There's a lot. Yeah, oh yeah, we got a Liberty Launcher Godlike. Alright, so I'm gonna go. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back on Monday for April Fools for some for some good fun times. Going to the percentage I managed to make. Um, from Streamlabs donations alone, almost a quarter. Yeah, considering just, like, all the super chats, too. A lot. Which I am extremely appreciative of. So, I'm gonna go. Hope everyone has a, uh, a fun time. 
I'm not editing a video for April Fools. I'm very sorry. I'm I'm just I'm so done with it. So I'm gonna go. Until then. <laughs>